in Seattle. Good afternoon. Another segment for you. This time I'm trying a new dish. It's menudo. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with that culinary term if you're Filipino or of Asian descent. Uh, this is, to me, a very special dish because uh, we, you know, growing up, growing up in Manila, I'm sure you remember as well uh, that uh, we ate this a lot. We, you know, usually eat menudo with rice. Uh, whether it traditionally has been around for, boy, I think since the 1930s. So uh, it's a traditional Mexi Mexican dish and they used to call it beef stew menudo. But, but in this situation, we're going to cook some uh, pork menudo. So here we go. You want to live in Seattle? You're going to have to cook some time to save some money. So let's cook some pork menudo. To start, let's, let's look at our ingredients here. Uh, this will be a pork menudo dish. So we have pork marinated in soy sauce, garlic, a little bit of brown sugar. I did put some potatoes in there too. Um, and also some cooking oil and olive oil in there. Then I have liver and lemon. And then of course we have garbanzo beans bell pepper, green bell pepper, and red pepper as well, uh, yellow onions, there's the lemon, and moving over here we have hot dogs, soy sauce, tomatoes, I didn't have any tomato sauce so I'm just going to do some traditional tomatoes here. These are raisins, salt, bay leaves, cooking oil, garlic, and water and of course uh, back there soaking in water I have carrots and more potatoes that are cubed all right I've got this uh, pan being preheated so let's get started I'm about to marinate the pork for the menudo so I'm gonna start out with a little bit of sugar like a or brown sugar a teaspoonful olive oil half half a teaspoon pepper it just depends on how much you'd like I'd say that's probably 24 granules, something like that. Here's the pork with some garlic in it. A little bit more garlic. Some soy sauce. A teaspoonful. I, I like to put potatoes in it. So just uh, red potatoes and with clean hands just mash these all together allow it to marinate ideally for about 30 minutes or so I might put a little bit of water in it but that should set okay I just started uh, pouring the canola oil or cooking oil into this preheated pan. Here's the garlic.
and the onions. Just going to allow this to brown and reduce. After about uh, five minutes or so, this is the result. Most of the most of the tomatoes kind of reduced in there. So here we go with the pork. Start the show. I'm going to get the water now. This will help cook the pork. Only about five minutes. You see that the pork is coming along pretty well here. So you can see that the pinkish discoloration is gone. And uh, I've got the flames on medium high, the stove on medium high. And it's, uh, it's doing its job here. So we'll just keep, keep going at it until. Again, the meat gets tender, and uh, we'll proceed. In. But right now, I'm going to add the bay leaves and the raisins and the salt. Additionally, we'll put maybe a teaspoonful of soy sauce. We'll just uh, keep it at medium high and mix this together. And my mantle clock's going on. Okay, after about uh, 10 minutes, uh, the pork, the meat is coming along pretty well. I, I did cube it small enough that way. You know, the heat of the flame uh, tenderizes it uh, faster than, than otherwise if you would have uh, cooked it in bigger chunks. So here comes the liver. Liver, and I'm going to add the hot dogs here too. That's beef liver, by the way. And here is the hot. Here are, are the beef frank hot dogs. Yeah, interesting. The uh, as I said, liver is an acquired taste for many people. It was for me, for sure. But this dish, the menudo, at least Filipino style, the liver really does add um, a texture that's like no other when you when you enjoy this dish. Uh, and yeah, the liver along with along with the uh, hot dogs too, it gives it a, a good uh, good variety. All right, I'm gonna add the uh, the potatoes and the carrots here. Just, just don't wanna overcook them. I know I had some potatoes in there initially, but uh, I have some other potatoes here on the side. I'm gonna try and twist the camera here so you can see right there uh, that we will add here probably in the next uh, Two or three minutes. Forgot. I have to add the garbanzo beans, of course. Well, here comes the garbanzos. I'm not going to use them all. Let me put half a can in there. So I'm going to save that for another dish. And the potato. Okay, so I'm going to give this a final stir. And then I'll go ahead and add the 
little pepper. There you have it. Menudo. Thanks everyone. I have one already. I highly recommend you get one of these mortar and pestle products. Um, it's probably one of the probably the most uh, the most one of the most inexpensive products you'll ever buy for your kitchen. These are probably six or seven dollars, uh, maybe even less. If you look even at Amazon.com or just check them out on the internet, uh, you will be very very thankful that you have one when you cook dishes like a menudo because uh, I like to use the mortar and pestle especially for um, when, I, when, when it involves garlic I feel that it's more of an authentic uh, Asian cuisine if you if I mash the garlic instead of just uh, chopping them up so it's just a choice for me so mm -hmm.